Hey guys, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Aaliyah. Are you looking to buy a laptop or just want some accessories to go with yours and have no idea what to buy? Well, you've come to the right place. In today's video, I will be discussing some of my personal favorite accessories that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Throughout this video, you will find timestamps located at the bottom of the video or down in the description that you can skip to the part of the video you would like to watch. And before we get into the video, I would like to preface by saying these products are all compatible with my MacBook Air and MacBook Pro, but I will also be including some products that are just universal going across from Windows, Samsung, all of the other different brands of laptops. So to start off my accessories list, I have an external hard drive. This is the one terabyte SanDisk Extreme Portable SSD that has transferring speeds of up to 550 millibytes per second. In the box comes the hard drive as well as a USB Type-C cable and adapter for the USB Type-A. I got this hard drive about a year after noticing that the storage on my phone was filling up very quickly and I wanted to start storing my footage even after I finished a project. In case you are looking for something smaller than a terabyte, there are many other options available for hard drive sizes that can meet various needs. For me, I think a terabyte is actually really small. No matter what type of work you are looking to do on your laptop, external hard drives are convenient and allow you to store important files so you don't accidentally delete them. Moving on, I have a laptop sleeve. This sleeve has a fuzzy interior with padded borders lining the inside edges of the case for shock absorption. I found this to be essential when purchasing a new laptop because it provides extra protection when moving or traveling around. I made sure to find a case that could easily fit my laptop into it as well as being able to fit into my backpack for school. I also like how this case has an extra pocket so I can slip my keyboard and mouse into when I'm in a rush. And moving on, we have a laptop stand. Now this isn't essential, but I found when doing schoolwork or editing, I started to notice that my neck would get sore and tired just from looking down constantly. I found that the best way to fix this problem was to elevate my screen. The stand allows for proper ventilation for the fans when they are running on the laptop. It also has six different levels of adjustment and can be easily put away to save space on my desk. And because my laptop is now elevated, I want to more comfortably type when I have the laptop on the stand. I could put up with typing at an angle, but when you are writing an essay for your college comp class, it can get old real quick which is why I purchased a Bluetooth keyboard. I got this in the mail about a week ago and I love this little guy. It is a small and portable wireless keyboard that can connect with up to three devices at the same time. This keyboard is compatible with both Apple and Windows users universally. The keys have a very satisfying clicking sound and fit my hands very comfortably. However, I will say that anyone with larger hands might find this particular keyboard to be uncomfortable to type on. It is made to be portable, so the size of the keyboard is smaller. And along with this wireless keyboard is the mouse that I use. Now this is an Apple product that I'm not sure is compatible universally. I purchased this mouse over the summer when I bought my iPad Air and I've loved using this mouse. It has a long lasting battery life. I mean, I have only charged it once since the day I got it. And it can be clicked in any area above the logo. I love the sensitivity feature because of the convenience when editing. It makes things so quick and easy to do when conducting work. The last accessory I have is a dongle. On this dongle, there is an HDMI port, two USB type A's, an SD card slot, as well as a micro SD card slot. And also I have added on two extra ports that I already do have. So if I were looking to set up an external monitor, I would still have a free HDMI port by using this dongle. So this is something really nice to have, especially if you have M1 MacBook Air and you only have two Thunderbolt ports. 
a dongle would be such a nice tool for you to have so you have extra ports available to you. So that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please comment some of your favorite accessories down below in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!